let's do another Taobao unboxing. Alright, so today uh, I have yet another Taobao package uh, that I'd like to unbox in front of the camera. So um, as you can see, this is a new setup uh, because I recently uh, upgraded my camera and uh, I've already actually filmed a couple of Taobao unboxing but I wasn't really uh, very satisfied with the quality of uh, what actually came out so um, decided not to upload them but hopefully this one is okay, okay so um, let's go straight into today's Taobao unboxing there's quite a lot of stuff to unbox today because uh, this is uh, quite a big haul where they have been collecting for a while like uh, in the warehouse and then I finally shipped it out and then it arrived today so I decided it's time to do an unboxing Alright, so I have a very very trusty scissors again um, <laughs> Totally not sharp at all <laughs> I'll see what I can do Let's go straight into the unboxing See what we have Alright, okay First I have the box Another boxy thing and three smaller packages Alright, so without further ado, let's go right into it So first one, we have this small package um, I can't remember what I bought, so I'm just going to open it straight away and see So recently, uh, Taobao has been suggesting to me uh, pretty awesome stuff Okay, because you know, like I'm, I'm kind of into fashion and stuff So like, uh, there have been the AI algorithm It's kind of been uh, introing me to more stuff that are pretty cheap and shops that aren't necessarily very popular on Taobao but yet has very very good products okay so let's see what's this ah okay so I bought a wallet all right so actually this is not the first time I bought this particular wallet it's been a few times already okay so um it's a wallet that I decided to buy another one off because the previous one, the zip has kind of like broken already. Pretty simple wallet. Alright, the reason why I really really like it is because it's very thin, as you can see. Super duper thin. And uh, it has all the basic functions. You can store cards, and then there's two uh, money pouches. Okay, very very simple one. And uh, for me, um, wallet wise, right, it has to have a coin pouch. Okay, if it doesn't have a coin pouch, I don't really like to use it because I tend to collect a lot of coins and uh, uh, yeah, and I also need to put other things like uh, maybe uh, keys or like smaller uh, electronic accessories so it would be great with a coin pouch so this wallet is perfect for me Right, next we have this package I'm not wrong, there are quite a lot of clothing pieces this time in this unboxing Oh yeah, okay, so this one has quite a few clothing pieces. <laughs> we have socks, beanie, and a shirt. As you can see, these designs are pretty exotic. Uh, I think the reason why uh, this shop sells these quite cheap is because uh, not many people uh, kind of like to go for the louder clothing. Um, but for me, I believe that it kind of fits my style, you know. I kind of like it, so let's see what these are. So first one we have is a rib and beach sock. Am I holding the right side? Yeah, rip and, dip, rip and dip sock. Okay, it's camel pattern, very very cute with the signature rip and dip cat logo in the pattern itself. I think it's kind of like inspired by Babe and all. Yeah, but I really really like the, the cat design in rip and dip. It's very very cute. Okay, I'll try it on later and you can see. Okay, next. We have a Stussy or Stussy, I, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Stussy. Uh, a beanie. Okay, as you can see. The, the color sort of remind me of a like Jamaica sort of color. Okay. Rip it open. Ooh, it's a very nice wool knitted beanie with the signature Stussy logo at the middle. Okay. Oh, it doesn't look too thick as well. Yeah, definitely can wear it a lot more. Okay, finally, from this same package, we have the shirt. If I'm not wrong, it's a... How do I pronounce this brand? Paxson. Okay, it's Paxson shirt. Very, very nice. 
sort of like Hawaiian feel to the shirt, okay, but the material is very nice and the print super lit, okay. Yeah, I don't think everyone, not many people would like to wear this sort of print, you know, most people will tend to go for like plainer prints, a single colour or at most like maybe stripes and things like that, but I, for me, I really really like this kind of prints. Not so much like leopard prints or zebra prints because that's really really way too excessive, uh, but this sort of, uh, what do you call this? Sort of tribal-ish print that is very bright coloured. Uh, really really uh, makes the shirt pop so I really really like this sort of design alright next we have this package over here if I'm not wrong uh, it's a pretty heavy package so I kind of remember what it was inside really alright so this is a very very simple one it's just notebooks okay uh, very very cheap notebooks like I think one piece it's about one dollar or lesser, okay. Uh, it's the brand Koyuko, Ko, Kokuyo, okay. Maybe a Japanese brand or China brand, I'm not sure, but they produce quite good quality uh, notebooks. And uh, recently I found myself the need to really jot down stuff and uh, write more stuff, so I thought it would be good to buy more notebooks. And uh, I really, really like the grid style, okay, uh, whereby I can kind of like explore uh, and not restricted to the lines you know right writing on the line so I can like write English or write other languages you know Chinese or maybe practice Korean uh, on this kind of notebooks okay so this package next okay so this one it's a pair of Dickies pants okay so um I bought one Dicky one pair of Dickies before in Singapore uh, from, if I'm not wrong, also at Peninsula Plaza. It was really, really expensive, about 80 plus dollars. So when I found this pair of Dickies on Taobao for about 20-ish to 30 dollars, I decided to immediately grab it, okay. Um, but this uh, is not for me, okay, it's uh, for a friend, alright. So um, I will not be trying it on, okay, but I'll be opening it to show the camera. Uh, it's definitely authentic Dickies looking at it, um, like with the tags and everything. Yeah, it really feels like authentic Dickies also. So if I'm not wrong, what happened is that is they probably just uh, from the factory, so um, they could sell it for cheap. And uh, yeah, so if it's good, definitely will get more. Yeah, but it doesn't come in many sizes and colors though, um, possibly due to a uh, little stock and um, other people, you know, like snatching it once it comes up and all. So yeah. Okay, very fast. Last one. So I know um I am never really for fake shoes because I feel like the quality isn't very very great. Okay, but I saw this one, the review said that it's exactly the same as the real one. And uh like it was sort of hidden whereby I had to find it on a WeChat account. Okay, to see the actual pictures and then go back on top of to buy itself so I suppose it should be real okay the box is really really damaged okay typical Taobao shoe box but it feels like the real box everything seems like the real box just really smashed up okay let's have a look at the shoes all right okay so um, I bought these Quarashis I think it's an HTXT. Okay, really, really nice shoe, as you can see. And uh, those who know me very well will know that I'm a big, big fan of Warashis. Okay, but um, I've always stuck to the older version. Okay, this particular one. I have many, many pairs of um, this particular one by different design um, because uh, it's, to me, literally the most comfortable shoe you can ever wear. But I guess it's just my preference. Uh, even more comfortable than Ultra Boost and stuff. Um, so I decided to try another version of Horashi. Okay, so this one I saw it looked more like a sports shoe. Okay, whereby the base is not as flat. Okay, and uh, the design is more how to say look like looks more sporty la, I guess. Okay, yeah, definitely feels like a real shoe. Doesn't feel fake at all. Hmm, it's about. 
twenty dollars sing. <laughs> okay, so I guess this is the dark side of Taobao and all. Um, but twenty dollars, you can get something like this, even if it's fake, you know, not endorsed by Nike, but still feels really, really solid. Definitely will give it a try and see how it is. All right, so with that, um, I'm done with the Taobao unboxing. Very, very fast video today. Um, I'm very, very happy with whatever I got today. Uh, haven't really, uh, I would say, been splurging a lot of money recently because of circuit breaker and everything. But we have to stay at home and um, at most the money I spend is on food. Uh, didn't really go out to shop or anything so I think it's good, you know, once in a while to treat yourself to something like this. Uh, but of course, uh, I will not support overspending and I still think that uh, it's good to spend uh, conservatively. Alright, so with that, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you like this new video setup. Uh, if you have any feedbacks or anything, uh, please do just share in the comments section down below. Uh, thank you for watching this video and bye!